You guys know I wouldn't start a video without it being gross and rainy out here. It is Sunday night and we are back at the shop. Kind of hung out a little bit uh, during Sunday and relaxed. I know no days off, but took like half a day off. And we are back unloading. This is the part that I normally don't show you guys, which is the not so fun part of racing, but every guy that races knows what it is. It's unloading and loading and moving stuff around and organizing the trailer and cleaning stuff up. Ben, say what's up. What's up? I told him Sunday. It's our, this is our day off. Yep. Getting, well, sort of. Since we have no days off, this is our day off. Yep. So, as you guys know, the Calmero, not quite the happiest at this point in time. But I will say, quite possibly the best move I ever made on this car was putting a spool in it because now we don't have to push it around. Mm -hmm. So when, we, when there was a locker in this car, every time an axle would break, it would spin the locker and it wouldn't lock up. So it was essentially you couldn't put any power to the ground. Mm -hmm. So it turned my, at what was a three speed into a custom transmission with four neutrals. Yep, zero speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four neutrals really gets you. So we got the glide in her and we got one good axle in her. And I don't know. I'm going to make the call here. It drove left. So I'm going to say the driver side axle broke and the passenger side pushed it left. 50 50 shot. What are you taking? An inner or an outer? Which hub broke? The inner hub or the outer hub? I'm going to go with the outer. I'm going to go with the outer. I feel yeah. like the outer is just the weaker one. Yeah. And for the longest time, I only broke inners. And then when I'd break them, they'd splatter everywhere. But because I didn't see anything, I'm going to go with it's the outer because last time the outer broke, it was just all bound up. And you said you might have heard that same clicking noise. Mm -hmm. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do a little shuffling here. We got to, I mean, I guess we'd like to test this Thursday, huh? Yeah. And the drive shaft shop isn't too far away. And the drive shaft shop does make great axles. You know, it's not like we're, we're bashing them by any means. But this is a big old girl, and we're trying to get it moving so fast in the 60 foot. And any slight sign of tire shake will just absolutely ruin one of these axles. And like... Mm -hmm. A half a second and it didn't even really shake that pass no. it it broke and came undone i think when it broke it made the other side shake yeah it, it got all upset after the axle broke it kind of was up doing its thing the weight was the car was up transfer doing its thing and, and then it, it popped and broke and it when it does that all i mean it just fell yeah it's, face. it's like getting a punch in the back of the head yeah it took all the weight off the back end and it started to Move around. It's a damn shame because these V-Series look so good. You know, we have to take them off. Like, even they, the car doesn't look nearly as nice when it's sitting up on the lift with no wheels on it. So I guess what we're going to do, which is I, I'd say the main changes to this car, we're going to look into travel limiters. They don't make any for this vehicle. So we're going to make our own travel limiters. I, I think, personally, we struggle half the time with it has too much extension on the front end. Before, I never had enough, and now I have too much. So we got to find that happy medium. So just like the rooster travel limiters tying the front end down, you're going to hear us talking about that on this vehicle. And if you can't tell I'm stalling, I don't want to get in here right now. It's like cold. I'm wearing shorts. It's wet and muddy out. At least the car's not wet. Yeah, at least the car isn't wet. So It actually stopped raining, believe it or not. Believe it or not, it stopped raining. So All right, I guess I can't stall any longer. i got to hop in there. I, I should have picked a car with a smaller window sill or a window opening to jump through. This car, like, <laughs> no. is, I, I can, I don't think I can fit up. I mean, I can, <laughs> I've done Listen, it. If it ever happened, you'd see me coming out of this thing in some which way. It's not, it wouldn't be this way, I tell you that. I'd dive head first. Head. I looked like the worst part is right now. That's like, the only yeah. time I've ever felt claustroph claustrophobic in my life was <gasps> looking out that window thinking, what if I'm on fire? Like, oh. dude. Hey, again, your helmet can't fit out of it? Real nice. Oh. Hold your ears.
It even drives left in reverse with a broke axle. Yikes. Oh, hey, you. You're taking over Wes's job now. <laughs> All right, it fought us on the way in here. We definitely know this axle is intact. It is under power because this tire was spinning. I always get a bunch of rubber here on the car and I had a little box sitting there. I'm just doing a burnout rub and all that, smearing that rubber around, so I gotta get that taken care of. That looks pretty awful right now, so we'll clean that up. But other than that, um, yeah, I got the, car, uh, got the car in here. This tire has no drive, no power, so. We're gonna get up here, take a look at it, see which one is wrong. Ben, axle swaps in this really not too bad. You gotta take off the big ass nut on the outside and then just undo them from the uh, from the rear end. And other than that, that's pretty much it. The old Camaro putting up a fight. That means it's gonna go real fast when we get it right. And still, if we look over here, we got the old salty chicken just looking like an absolute weapon, just not built yet. All right, guys, as you can see here, visual inspection, everything looks intact. Hey, you know what? I left this little tag on there for good luck, and it let me down. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. I even said that. I was like, man, got the tag on there. We'll be all right. So in a matter of seconds, we got both axles free from the diff side. Now, this 9-inch here does hold in pretty strong. We just put those new axle stubs in there, and I, I want to say it's not an axle stub, correct? What? That, uh, that broke. It's got to be an outer of the axle. Yeah. The out, this one right here. I think this is the one that failed us, and we'll know as soon as we get it off because it'll be all bound up. Surprised it's not taking the boots out though. All right, watching some 1320, ordering some parts, editing some videos. Ben got one out. I literally left for five minutes. I was gone for five minutes, and you already took an axle out. Both. Both out? Does it show anything? Yeah. Well, what do we got here? How'd you get them both out in literally five minutes? I mean, just did it. <laughs> okay, so this one. Yeah. Smooth. Outer? Or inner? So smooth. Nice, nice, very good. 360 degrees of freedom. Mm -hmm. So inner and outer good on this one. Look at this. I got all nick in the paint. I gotta get all, I gotta get this fixed. Okay. Inner, very nice. Oh no, no. That that's her right there. Yeah. Oh God. It's not good whenever you can. Yeah, it's probably round in there. All the little teeth in there are round. Mm -hmm. So hey, we were both right. Pound it. Yeah. Let's, let's look on the positive side. We know what we know what we break now. It was a driver's side outer, and just like that, we knew. So everyone, do me a favor. I'm gonna ask Ben. I don't know. You tell me if this is a little too much. Comment up on the drive shaft shop. Link their Instagram right here and go to their last photo and say, John Doc needs a set of spare axles for the Cow Marrow. I need you guys to do it. They need to get like, they need to see like 300 of these because they just, they need to. I mean, these are, everyone's like, man, you need to get some, something better than the thousand horsepower axles. These are more than the thousand horsepower axles. These are the big boy head honcho. All you can get. Yeah, I mean, that's it. So. At this point, I mean, you saw, how long did it take for us to do that? Oh. Holy God. No way. That, how, look how thick that is. Mm -hmm. Is the spindle all right? Dude, that, that's a gnarly break. Mm -hmm. That's a thick piece of metal. Yeah. That's no joke. Mm -hmm. no, Look at that. Look how bowed out it is. Yeah. It's destroyed. So far. And that's like, I was looking because that like, I'm pretty sure this piece that they make right here, this is like, like a billet steel piece. Yeah, it's no joke. It's like tool steel. It did, it, two passes before it did have a little bit of tire shake, but I mean, so, just like that, we called it. Next time, I'm going to save you guys this whole video and just say, from past experience, we probably know which one is broken. But, there it is. You guys saw it firsthand. It was a driver's side outer. 
I got nothing else to say. It broke. It's really not. The thing is, I say, I, I don't mean to be stingy or like rude or, or anything when I was like, hey, I need a set of spare axles. You know, give me a set of spare axles. I've been running, I mean, I, I've always believed in the drive shaft shop. I still believe in the drive shaft shop. I run their stuff. Um, these axles in that nine inch kit is high dollar and don't even bat an eye, get it, whatever. It's supposed to be the baddest stuff out there. And to keep having this happen over and over, it's not knocking their product at all. I'm definitely one of the more extreme applications with the car being so heavy and trying to move as fast as it does and trying to hit it as hard out of the hole. There's guys out there making more power than me all over the place in fifth gens. There's not guys that run the same time as me in fifth gens because we get to work. I mean, there's guys out there that are, that'll go, I mean, I mean, they're making 13, 14, 1500 horsepower. I'm still on a stock block. So, I mean, I just, um, we're trying to maximize it and, you know, be as fast in the six foot as we can. We six foot with the nitrous cars. I mean, that's what it is. So, um, and it's heavy. So, parts failures, they happen in racing. I would say if I broke an axle in another year, that'd be fine. But, how many passes do I got on those? I got, it literally had one full pass at Galat. And then it broke the second pass. Then it had one 60 foot hit and one shakedown. And then it had one full pull, and after that it's done. So max, max of three passes in one 60 foot hit, and put a fork in them. And like I said, the whole spare axle thing, I just say that because listen, if an axle breaks, I get it, part of racing. We'll fix it at the track and we'll go and make another pass. But man, to go all the way out there, drag all this stuff out there, go to run a race, pay the entry fee, and bust them, four passes, it's just tough, it's just tough, so. We're gonna head out there, we're gonna get these axles fixed. Uh, if, it, if it keeps happening more, I mean, Ben, are we gonna have to find an alternative? It, like, we're gonna have to figure something out. Yeah, because we just can't keep doing this. Either I'll make an axle or <laughs> change the axle. <laughs> I, I really, I really, on this car, I don't wanna go straight axle, I don't. This is not the race car, this is a street car. This is the race car. This already has a strange S60, 40 spline, spool, the whole nine yards, floating brakes, everything. This is a badass rear. It's a badass rear for a street car. I shouldn't need to put that out of my race car in my street car, but hey, who knows? I do want to thank you guys for watching. The LS Nasty Experience is absolutely flying. Ben, talk to me about the LS Nasty Experience. How lit is it? That's gonna be the most fun you can have on two feet. <laughs> <laughs> <You are. laughs> Literally, so you can't have any more fun with two feet. So you guys go down there, check that out. What I'm gonna do this week, you guys are gonna see this video Monday. I'm going to do a giveaway on Friday. So if you enter the LS Nasty giveaway from the start until Friday, I'm gonna do a giveaway, uh, just a random, pick a number out. You'll still be entered in the LS Nasty experience, but I'm just gonna pick a ra random winner and I'm gonna send you some merch. So go out there, get your LS Nasty tickets. Uh, they are two for $10. Go down there, pick them up. We got some LS Nasty crew shirts. I haven't released them yet. So maybe that's what you'll be getting. There's no telling. There's no telling. I might, I might literally take one of these axles and ship it to you. I mean, there's no telling. So I do want to thank you guys for watching. Comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload.